Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in another video. Today I'm going to be sharing a pretty huge H&M haul. I've picked up some lovely summer pieces that I cannot wait to show you. As always, all of the items that I'm going to show will be linked down below along with any items that I've styled them with. For reference, I am 5'4 and at the minute I'm so in between sizes so I'm literally just going to talk through the sizing as we go through each piece. And as always, if you do enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you do want to see more from me. But honestly, those thumbs up really do just help me out here on this platform so I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna start with dresses because I do have quite a few dresses that I want to show you. So the first item that I picked up is this knitted dress and this is in a midi length. It's in a creamy color and then you've just got this zigzagged black stripe running through it. It has like a little tie detail at the back where it does up at the back of the neck which I think is really cute. So I picked this one up in a size small and I feel like the fit of it is really nice on me. I love the length of it. I love that it sort of just glides over your curves. It's not super tight I just think it's a really classic pretty summer dress I would just say obviously where it is knitted it's not one of those dresses that you would reach for on like a heat wave kind of day it definitely is a dress for a bit more of like a cooler summer's day but yeah I absolutely love it so I've just shown this styled with some sandals I've also shown it styled with a little hat as well which I'll get onto later in this haul I have picked up a few accessories that I'll be showing you but yeah I absolutely love this dress I love the fit of it I love the flow of it I just I think I really am quite into like a longer length dresses this summer in particular. I just find them really flattering. Right, and then the next dress that I picked up is in this black asymmetric style, and it's just got this ruching down the front, which leads into a slit which I just love. I think a slit is always just so sexy and so elegant. This is in a really nice light material as well that will work beautifully throughout summer. And this dress, again, gives such a beautiful silhouette. I'm so happy with this one. I feel like it's the perfect evening sort of dinner dress. It's just such a timeless silhouette. I feel like this could live in your wardrobe forever and you would never get bored of it. So I'm really happy with this one. I picked this one up in a size small and it fits me pretty perfectly. I would literally just wear this one out for dinner with some simple thin black strappy sandals and a small little clutch okay so whilst we're on asymmetric dresses i did actually pick up another one which is in this white and this is like a poplin sort of material i feel like you'll probably be seeing this kind of style everywhere with that like little poofing sort of feel going on it's got poofing at the bottom and then in the arm as well and when i saw this on the website i thought it was absolutely stunning so much so that i actually ordered it in the white and i ordered it in black too but i have to say in person i'm not sure that i absolutely love it i feel like there might just be a little bit too much material going on for me i feel like if there was a little bit less material and it was a little bit more flowy i feel like it might suit me a little bit better but i just don't know how flattering i actually find it on let me know what you think in the comments as to whether you like it or not I do show both the black and the white in the try on clips. For the white though, you might notice that I am a little bit more glammed up for that try on clip just because I had to include this dress in a reel that I was filming, which I was a little bit more doled up for. So you might not notice a difference, I don't know, but like anyone's looking that hard, but just in case you are, that is the reason for that. I don't know that I love these dresses as much as I thought I was going to. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. I thought they were going to just be a little bit more like of a casual sort of feel where you could wear them very much from day to night. Um, but I just felt like all the extra material was very much just giving only really appropriate for the evening. But yeah, again, the shape is nice. It's just a little bit too much material going on for me. And in terms of sizing, I got this one in a size 10, which I feel like is pretty perfect for me. I would say it is a little bit tight, kind of like around the bust area. But apart from that, like the size is pretty spot on. Right, continuing the white dress saga, I picked up this really cute little mini dress. And this is in that sort of muslin material, which I love in the summer because it's so nice and breathable. It's got a long sleeve that kind of just cinches in at the wrists. And then you've got this really sweet little braided belt that goes around it as well, which is obviously just a nice way to define your waist a little bit. So I picked this one up in a size medium and the fit is absolutely perfect on me. I couldn't have got away with any smaller, especially in terms of the length. The length is like perfect on me. I couldn't have got away with it being any shorter. But yeah, I love this dress and I feel like it'll be perfect for holiday, for just roaming around a new city, even for like wearing over a bikini to the beach or down to the pool. But yeah, the perfect little summer dress just to keep the sun off you on those really hot days. And then we have another dress this time in black. I don't even know what you would call this style of dress. It's like this little mini dress, but it is very much just a throw on, strappy, easy breezy type of dress. I feel like this would be like your perfect go-to dress in terms of if you're in a heat wave and you just wanna throw something on that's really loose and breezy, this would be perfect. It's literally just got these two little straps. It gathers at the neck at the front there really sweetly. And then you've literally just got a little tie at the back where it does up. 
and I just thought this dress was perfect. It was only like, I think 13.99, so I did have to pick it up in black, and I also picked it up in white, just because I feel like it's perfect. It's so light, it's just like a tiny little mini dress. It's the type of thing that just isn't gonna take up lots of space, be so easy to pack with you when you're going on holiday, will work perfectly for just like, again, exploring a new city, wandering around when it's really hot, or for throwing over a bikini or like a swimsuit or whatever when you're at the beach or at the pool. So I just thought they were absolutely perfect really. And for 13 pounds, like you honestly just cannot go wrong, but they'll just go perfectly from day to night. Like you could literally wear this all day with some sandals and then you could dress it up for the evening with a cute little clutch. And it's just like, it's just like the simplest perfect dress that I've ever come across for 13 pounds, so I just was like super excited to show you these. Okay, and then lastly in the dress category, I don't know if I can technically include this in the dress category, it might be a bit of cheating, but I have this bikini cover up, and this is in a gorgeous chocolate brown. I absolutely love this color all year long. It's in a really long length, like it literally pretty much skims the floor, which I love, as I was saying, I think I really am into like longer lengths this summer for dresses. It's in this very thin crocheted sort of knit, it. so it is quite sheer you can see your bikini or swimsuit underneath it and it has a really low drop back as well but anyway this is like the perfect kind of cover-up if you're just going to be like sitting by the pool walking around your resort going for breakfast going for lunch or things like that you just want to like throw something over your bikini now I would just say for me I'm not sure about the sizing I got it in a medium and I feel like the arms are a little bit tight on me sometimes I'm not very good at like actually looking at the pictures when I order things online I just look at the first picture of fall in love and then put it straight in my basket but I don't actually really love showing off my back that much and I don't know if I was to size up whether it wouldn't show up so much with my back but it very much shows off like the sides of my back which I just don't really feel very confident showing off at the minute so for me I think this is going to have to be a return apart from the fact that it shows off too much of my back I absolutely love it I showed it styled with my brown bikini underneath which is in literally exactly the same shade as this so I feel like I am going to have to look for a cover-up just like this but just with a bit of a less exposed back. So I picked up this gorgeous graphic tee. I mainly picked this one up for the graphic that it's got on the back. I always absolutely love a t-shirt that has a big graphic on the back. It adds a bit of a different perspective to a t-shirt and I like them to be quite like plain on the front so it kind of matches whatever you're wearing and then for like the showstopper to be at the back I think that's quite cool. It has also just got one lemon on the front as well just in the chest area on the left and I picked this one up in a size medium. It is really nice and oversized on me just how I wanted it. I really do just love like an oversized t-shirt in the summer and especially with like a little graphic on the back as well just to add a little bit of interest to it. Just for styling with a pair of like denim shorts and some trainers or some sandals just for a really easy carefree weekend look. I love that kind of style that is like me to a T. Right so the next top that I picked up is a little bit more the fancier side. So it's this linen top with a raw hem and a really low deep neckline. It just does up with a couple of ties at the front, kind of hangs open at the front so you can see like a little bit of your belly button. I thought this would work really nicely with a pair of jeans and then some cream heels just for a little bit more of a dressier sort of summer look if you've got like a cute brunch or something like that to go to or like a baby shower or any kind of occasion slightly on the dressier side. I thought this top would work really nicely for that. Although I would say the raw hem obviously gives it a little bit more of a casual feel as well. Um, but yeah, it is quite cute. I thought like this would also look really nice with a pair of denim shorts as well. Or maybe even like some linen shorts and just some sandals. Next, I've just got a couple of jackets that I want to quickly show you. So I picked up this oversized dark wash denim jacket. And I just saw this on the website and thought it looked absolutely perfect. I absolutely love this darker shade of denim at the moment. I'm very much like leaning towards it. And I've got a pair of denim shorts that I thought would be like a perfect match to this. And then would look like a bit of a co-ord when worn together. I picked this one up in a size medium. It definitely is a very oversized fit. I feel like I would be happy to go down like one or two sizes in this to be honest. But yeah, I love the wash of it. I love the silver hardware on it. But it's just a little bit too big, I would say. I think I would like it a little bit more fitted than what it is. Still like oversized but just a little bit less than what this is. Right so next we have this utility styled gilet in this very light beige colour and this obviously is a little bit different but I just thought I would try it out because I saw it on the website and just thought it looked really cool. I am quite keen to like experiment a little bit more with like layering pieces and I thought this might be quite perfect for that. I have just styled it with like an oversized white t-shirt underneath and then some jeans. I think it would look really great with like some trainers or some chunky sandals um, but yeah I was just giving it a go. I'm not sure I'm a little bit on the fence. 
<laughs> but let me know what you think of it. In terms of sizing, I picked this up in a size small. I feel like you probably could even go a bit more oversized with it though, to be honest. Like, it's like a medium probably would have looked maybe a little bit better. Right, so next I've got a cohort to show you, and that is this waistcoat in a halter neck style with matching trousers that are in a wide leg style. I think these ones might have come with a belt as well, but I don't know what I've done with the belt now because I didn't want to include the belt in the trial clip. I wasn't a fan. It was like a raffia sort of material. I just didn't feel like, but like it cheapened it a little bit, if you know what I mean. Um, but I love the fit of the trousers. I love the silhouette that they give. I think I've got another pair of trousers from H&M that are in this exact same cut, which are in a grey, and I love them. I think the waistcoat is really cute, but the only thing I don't like is the buttons. I feel like they should have gone with something a little bit more muted, a little bit more subtle. I feel like using these bright, pearly type buttons just kind of cheapens the look. I don't know what it is, I just, I'm not a fan of them. But I picked up the waistcoat in a size medium, I feel like it fits me pretty fine. It's got a little tie halter neck, so you can do that up to whatever is comfortable on you. And then for the trousers, I got those in a size 12. And again, they fit absolutely perfectly. I love the trousers a lot. But yeah, I feel like they look so lovely together, just paired with like some black sandals and a cute little bag. Next, I picked up these really cute little stripy shorts in this sort of creamy white color and black. And I thought these were really sweet when I saw them on the website. I feel like I always see like stripy shorts and things like that on my Pinterest and I always think like I need to keep my eye out for them. So I was really happy that I came across these. They've got a little tie at the waist as well so you can cinch them in. I quite like the length of them. I got them in a size medium and I think I'm quite happy with the size of them. Like the fit around the waist is perfect. In the trial and clip, when I showed them styled with the lemon graphic tee, I have just turned the waistband over just like that, just so that they would kind of flare out a little bit on my thighs just to give them a little bit more of a flattering silhouette and I think that works perfectly right and then next we come on to accessories which was kind of the part that I was most excited for because I picked up the cutest bags so I picked up this bag which I feel like I don't know I don't know what you think but I think this is very much the way they inspired like this little bucket bag with the little plaque there as well it is giving Loewe for a fraction of the price I mean like Look, I've literally even got that one in the background. Like, they look like they could be sisters, right? But yeah, so I picked up this really sweet little bag. This is in a bucket style. It's got like this little insert. I don't know if you can even take this out. Okay, it doesn't come out. It's got this little insert that you'd put your things into in the middle. Um, and then it's just got pulls on the side. It is really stiff. Like to pull this tight and secure, like that would actually take some muscle. This is just like the type of bag that I love when it's got like so much personality to it itself, just in its silhouette, like it's simple but it just adds so much interest to your outfit. I love the fact that the straps, I can't remember how to do it now, but the straps are adjustable. Let me just figure out how you do it. Look, you literally just pull, you literally just pull. So you can make it like longer somehow. Yeah, so you can make it like full length. So you can just wear it like at the side or you can have it like how I've shown it styled which is a little bit shorter and then you can just pop it over your shoulder, really cute and just sits like under your arm, I love that. I think I'd either wear it like that or I'd wear it long but I'd wear it like crossbody because as I said, like that is really like, I don't know how you're actually gonna seal that so that no one can get their hands in there. I feel like these are the types of items where I just think like, I don't know where they're actually made for because when you do live like in a busy city like London, like pickpocketing is a massive thing. So having your goods secure is like a really important thing. Um, but to be fair, my phone is usually like in my pocket, which I don't know if it's any securer than being in your bag, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you kind of just want it to be like, yeah, under your arm so you could feel if someone was going in there or like in front of you. I feel like this bag is just gorgeous. I love the tones. It's obviously just in this natural raffia material and I just absolutely love the tan faux leather that they've used as well. I just feel like this will literally go with any outfit over the summer. Like this is gonna be perfect. I feel like I'll get so much wear out of this. I feel like this is gonna be one that will sell out so I would be quick if you do wanna get your hands on this. So I picked up another bag in a similar style to the last one. It's in this raffia material. Again, it's got the tan faux leather detail for the straps and then you've got a little plaque there. I don't know how I feel about that plaque on every item that they're doing. I feel like it's fine if you're only gonna like pick up one thing, but then like if I was to keep both of these bags and they both have the plaque, I feel like it's a little bit of overkill. I probably would be tempted to just wear it on the inside. Um, but anyway, this is in a really lovely shopper shape style. It's one of those bags that you literally just gonna be able to fill up and it will hold its shape quite nicely. You can't really see the shape of it that well here, but you might see it a bit better in the trial clip because I have just taken the padding out of it because 
it would have been rustling and you wouldn't be able to hear what I was saying. I love how they've crossed around the leather on the handles there just to add a little bit of interest. I love the shape of it and again these colours literally just go with any outfit. Like this bag will be so easy just to throw on with any outfit that you're wearing. It'll be the perfect bag to take with you to like the pool or the beach because you'll be able to get a towel in there and like loads of other stuff and I feel like it will hold its shape really nicely. I'm so happy with both of these. I'll just show you them again. <laughs> Almost there now but if you've made it this far in the video I really do appreciate you and there is not long to go. Next I picked up this really lovely straw hat. So I am definitely going out of my way this year to find some hats that I really love because I just don't love having the heat beating down on my face. Plus it's not good in terms of sun damage and anything regardless. So when I saw this hat I thought yes perfect. This is like such a classic sort of style of straw hat. I love how flat the top of it is. I don't know why but it having a flat top I feel like this gives it such a more flattering look. It's got this little black detail around the top of it too which just makes it so much easier to style especially when you are wearing darker colours it just helps the whole look tie in a lot better. I just showed it styled with the knit dress which had the black stripes running through it and I feel like where this already had a bit of black in it that all just worked really nicely together and looked quite seamless. I love the shape of this hat and I think it is just very flattering and it is such an affordable price point too. I can't remember how much it was but I feel like it was like under £15. Um, and I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of this. I feel like it's just going to be an easy hat to pop on with anything. Like, I mean, yeah, like even with this shirt, I feel like it works. I feel like hats like this really do just finish off your look. They just add that kind of finishing touch. They complete it, but they also can elevate it if done in the right way. And I just feel like even on holiday, you know, once you've been to the beach and your hair is just looking all kinds of crazy, like to be able to pop on a hat like this and then to do like a little low bun at the back perfect like this is literally going to be a lifesaver for me when I'm away this year. Right and then the last category of this haul is footwear. I picked up some really lovely sandals. I've been struggling to find sandals if I'm honest this spring summer so I was really happy when I saw a few pairs that I really liked on H&M. I picked up these ones which again in a bit of a straw style they're a bit of a what do they call this like Esperelda type style. I love that they've got a little bit of a platform to them. I love that they're in a really light like colorway because it just makes them so easy to style with any outfit. They're just so neutral they just go with everything I'm finding. I haven't worn them out yet but I have tried them with like a few different outfits and they literally go with everything. Tell me what you think but I feel like these are a little bit um Christian Dior kind of inspired. I don't know. There's something about the material there. I feel like I've seen some Christian Dior sandals that have that as well. I'll put up a picture if I can find the ones that I'm on about but yeah love these. I think they're about £27. I got them in a size 6 which is just my regular size and they're perfect. Next pair of sandals that I picked up are in this dark chocolate colour which I love. I've actually already worn these ones out so I'm just going to be careful with how I'm holding them but they're in like a faux leather style at the front. They kind of like plait together. I love the colour of these and I love that they're in a bit of a chunkier style. I know that like it doesn't look they're very platformed but honestly I do just feel like having a tiny little bit of a platform in your sandals for someone like me that's a bit more on the petite side just makes them so much more flattering than when they're completely flat but then also just so much more comfy when you do want to wear them out all day and do lots of walking. And the last pair of sandals that I picked up are in this much lighter colour so these are in a light sort of tan colour and I love the simplicity of this style it's just like a little crisscross at the front and then you just got a little gold buckle which I think is really sweet. I thought I was going to absolutely love the shade of these ones but in person they're quite light and bright and they give a little bit more of like a yellowy sort of like tinge compared to being a bit more on like the tan side which is what I thought they would be and I don't know that they go with my complexion so please do let me know what you think of these ones because I'm so on the fence. I feel like either way they had these in quite a few different colours, they had them in like a cream colour and they had them in a black so if I don't keep these ones I definitely will get them in another colour. They were literally only like £13.99, they were so affordable and the quality of them feels so good. Like obviously you can't really, I can't comment too much on the quality of them because I feel like with shoes you do need to wear them to say they are comfy. Right so those are all the items that I have to show you. If you made it to the end of this video I really do appreciate you and I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please do give me a thumbs up if you did and definitely subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!